All right, so we are doing sort of a candy themed uh, VBS series this summer. We haven't quite finished putting the stage back together. Uh, we tear it down, do it every Wednesday. So far stuff's holding up. But I'm gonna walk you through the candy we did because it took a lot of research to find this stuff. Uh, you can see these gumballs, candy wrapped in cellophane we have hanging from the ceiling. Um, those are just the, the rubber balls you would find in those large metal bins at Walmart the kids always like to grab and uh, play basketball. Hate that. Cellophane, some uh, red ribbon to tie those knots up, and a little bit of clear tape because that's going to help you hold things together. And they are tied with fishing line to the ceiling and uh, you know, a tiny hook up there, obviously. So those are easy enough. We'll move over to our peppermints, which we have several of. Again, you've got cellophane twisted up and some clear tape to hold it together. Fishing line holding it up there. Um, these are paper plates. Uh, we just had somebody freehand our spiral design. Um, then we used a, a bright LED uh, work lamp, um, you know, like a drywaller would use or a painter, and uh, traced from the first one all the rest of these. Uh, we did make a few. And they are stuffed with uh, just that fake cotton you'd find in the craft aisle or somewhere that somebody, uh, anybody wants to sew blankets or knits or whatever. I don't know. Um, come to the cotton candy. Again, there's that same, uh, same stuffing. Uh, that is just red spray paint done very lightly. Uh, we tried spray adhesive to start with this, and I think it kind of worked okay for a while, but we ran out, so they ended up just doing hot glue and um, putting this on to get the shape they wanted. The base is just poster board that we cut to give the cone, and we didn't have any black at the time to make this a little less noticeable, but you've got to support it from wobbling left to right, and you've got to support it from tipping backwards. So one of those heavy-duty paint sticks, um, this, this section on the back is, again, just extra poster board from cutting this, uh, help keep it from tipping. The top poster board cut to the shape of the uh, cotton candy so you can't see it. And you've got to give this some stability. So again, those paint stirs, uh, cheap and effective. Our suckers, one of the best looking projects. Uh, lollipops, I should call them, I guess. Wrapped in cellophane when we're done. These are pool noodles. Uh, depending on the size you want, you, uh, you may have to glue two or three of these together. Um, I think the red one and our light purple one over there are three glued together. Get those at uh, the Dollar Tree, because they're a dollar. Um, glue the ends together first and then wrap them with whatever color duct tape to give it that swirl look. And once you've got the duct tape wrapped together and they're glued end to end like right here is a seam, you'll lay this flat on the floor and from whatever end you want to be the back, you'll start to curl from the middle and use hot glue, which you can, you can see pretty well there, um, hot glue all the way around it. And I'd recommend being generous because this stuff, um, the pool noodles, really want to spring back apart. But they're, they're holding up pretty nicely right now. This is PVC. Some Gorilla Tape that we uh, used to hold it on to the actual uh, lollipop. Make sure the text goes on the back side because you're going to hate yourself if you do that wrong. A little red ribbon, keep that tied together. Uh, the cellophane rips very easily. Once it starts, you're kind of in trouble. So the way we decided to support these instead of building something to keep them from the bottom up, uh, this is more fishing line. You'll drill a hole through that PVC, which I would recommend doing before you attach it to the lollipop, and especially before you put the cellophane on it. Like I said, this stuff rips. I had to do some repairs. We have a long track up here with lots of options of where we can move it. And it's a little dark there, but those are uh, like... 50 cent carabiners, probably cheaper than that. Um, so what you end up with when you're trying to tie these together is a bunch of different lengths. But when we have this long track, we have the ability to control how uh, high or low it hangs. So they all pretty much sit right on the floor. Worked out nicely, keeps them from swinging around. <sighs> and if you've never tied fishing line before, it can be a little tricky. Um, it doesn't like to stick together with just one knot. So what we did was tied it uh, in three little knots and then used hot glue 
to keep it from unraveling. I guess I'll give you a better look at each of these before I run past. I want this to be short, but you guys get the point. We figured it out without too much help. We just had pictures from Pinterest. Everybody has to love that, right? I know my wife does. This is one of the favorites, uh, the giant gumball machine. Obviously, those are little balloons. Um, this is a PVC frame. This stands five foot tall. Uh, the 10-foot sections of PVC are less than two bucks. Uh, the fittings that we had to use at the top and the bottom are these special 90-degree uh, tees. I don't even know what to call those anymore. Uh, you'll need eight of those, um, four at the top, four at the very bottom, because the bottom looks just like the top. And right here at the front and back corners, you have just a normal PVC tee running vertical and uh, a perpendicular inlet. So there's a piece of PVC running right here that you can't see. And the same thing on the back. And all we needed those for was a little bit of stability, but to also place this black poster board on top of that held the balloons up so we didn't have to fill this thing from floor to ceiling. Uh, that was a lot of balloons. Everything that this is made of, like I said, PVC on the inside. Um, this is poster board that we used a nice straight edge, um, a T-square, and uh, cut out the shapes and sizes we wanted. Uh, poster board, get it at the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar. Um, I think for 20 bucks, we built this thing, and then uh, the spray paint is like three or four bucks a can, so that was the most expensive. Our little lid here is actually just like a Tupperware lid. It came off like a disposable turkey pack or something. Uh, Walmart, you can find this foam stuff in the craft aisle. Uh, that was the only place we could find this, and it was exactly what we wanted. Uh, poster board cut out. Now, you can cut out poster board, or we got lucky and we used the cardboard from a uh, frozen pizza. All of our letters we did with a cricket or a cry cut, depending who you are and how particular you are. Um, we're going to call it a cricket. Our lifesavers, um, these are foam letters. Uh, my wife found those, I think, at the dollar store again. Um, glued them on to $1 floaties from the dollar store, and then we had to get the paint to paint them the colors we wanted. The black boxes you see, uh, those are just meant to prop up some of the other items once we set these up. Starburst. Get you a bunch of boxes that are the same size. <laughs> Order the color wrapping paper. Wrap them up. Uh, you can either try and find this online to print it out and cut the shape. Uh, or we got lucky and have a very talented person in our church who freehanded these. And then made copies, cut them all out, glued them on the box. Alright, quickly, because I'm going to run out of memory. Uh, the Hershey Kisses. These are very difficult and I would almost encourage you not to do them. The Cricut cut out our letters. White ribbon, uh, get it to size, do several sizes and shapes of these. There is a cheap bowl in the bottom, and you have to stuff the top, or you won't get a, the shape you want. Uh, there's just grocery bags shoved in here. These were very difficult. Uh, super glue for the letters. Tootsie Rolls. Cricut did the letters. Uh, super glue to put them on the wrapping paper. Um, this is patty paper. Um, wrap that first on each side. And these are cardboard tubes, that uh, large rolls of paper that we use at the company I work for. So you may have difficulty finding those, but that's all that is, is a cardboard tube. Uh, do your patty paper, red wrapping paper, brown wrapping paper. You're done. And I do believe that covers everything I wanted to show you today. Everybody thought this was great. We're going to work on some more stuff too, I believe, before the summer's over. Um, but, uh, hey, if you happen to be in the Fairborn area, come check out our church. All right, 302 State Street. Every Wednesday at 630, we have the Sweet Life VBS Summer Bible Series.